What's going on, Biker fam? It's been past time to get this going. So let's bring you over here to the left side of the bike. We'll get some maintenance done. Let's close this door. And give you what you're asking for. We're going to get our kit, the Wayward Tool Kit. It's time to install these ASV levers. ASV. I, I want some ASV levers. <laughs> It's time to put these AS3 hoses on the bike. It's past time. Well, first thing we gotta do is a few things rather. One, we're gonna drain all the fluid out of the bike. It's engine ice. So we're gonna place it with engine ice. See the six or five point five? I think it might be a five point five. Let's check. It is six. So this does two things. One, it gets rid of the crusty, worn out hoses, and it raises the aesthetic of the bike. Maybe this is some George Michael. <laughs> so we're gonna use the Weaver kit. We're gonna try not to use anything else if we don't need to. And we can take these all the way off because we're replacing not only these crusty hoses, but these worn out couplers or bands. There we go. Slide this out the way. There we go. Taking a leak. That's Paris on Rogan's bike, man. Got spiders building a nest on it and stuff. I apologize. To the scarab. My dad calls it the non Arab scarab. And by the time you see this video, he will have a design for his bike. Let's do it now. Let's get this top portion down. Now, it looks like some of these might actually have sizes on them. In this case, we can probably line it up. Because one up here says size 22. This one says... I'm trying to clean all this mud off. Dunkin' Grandma off. <laughs> That's just, we're not using that no more anyway. ISW 30. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, guys. Sorry to kick you. Shop taps for the win. Because I don't know what to say. I'm curious, let me show you guys here in a second. Thirty-seven dash thirty ISW. I 
I'll try to make sure in post I can fix that. You can tell what that is. Rather anticlimactic. There's one up here that says size 22 on it. So I'll make sure I show you guys that. Now you can tell these have been on here for a long time. Look at the impressions that they've made in the rubber. And after this, we'll uh, once we drain all this out, we'll put in the the old, we'll put the old fluid in the new containers after we've emptied the new containers and. Uh, for the most part, bled the system. Oh, this one's, this one's on here. I know you guys got jokes. I know you guys got jokes. What's going on, Cam? Most definitely, man. How about yourself? Now, any cooler that you leak, make sure you clean it up. Uh, one, EPA regulations. And two, if you got a pet or if your neighbor's got pets and they lick this stuff up, coolant draws fluid to your lungs. So, that's just FYI. Like that's coming off the lip. We are going to pull the radiator down and see if we can save it. If not, we'll order one. It's like 75 bucks. But let's get this coolant now for sure, for sure. So this hose is out. And then we want to get. These other cooling hoses. Basically, these cooling hoses. There's two. Bring y'all over here. That go right here. Let's see if we can stick out right here. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Watch me get stuck by a thorn later. Trying to get you guys these shots. Y'all better like this on video. You're in nature. It's alright. Okay. That's the only thing I don't like about the Mebo setup is you gotta have your phone open. And I don't know if it works with the Apple Watch where I can just look on the Apple Watch. I gotta keep the phone next to me at all times. See what you guys can see. Okay, you can't see it. You can't see it. So these are cooling lines that go and help you keep the oil cool. All right. I'm going here as well. So we're gonna take these off. I could be wrong. It might be oil. But I highly doubt it. Just by the way it's designed. So let's take this off and. See if we get a surprise. <laughs> so, it's underneath this spout right here. And if I'm correct, this is where your thermostat is at. Mm. Which we've never had a problem with. We hadn't had a problem with thermostat. At least I don't think we have. And what I might do is just mock everything up today. Or the thermostat just to be on the safe side. Because it ain't going to hurt to have a new thermostat.
whether it's brand new that you know that you put in there, will not hurt. Just want to see if I'm wrong or not on this one. I honestly think this is coolant. As it passes through the oil filter, it's a chance to cool down the fluid going by. It helps it cool down. Hey. So this one's a pain to get, even when you loosen it up pretty good, it's a pain to get it off. So, let's loosen it up over here. I will say, I will say this, Honda has gotten way better about how to design I got the other camera on. Let me just see if I can get it and get you guys a better angle. One is kind of behind me. All right. Back on auto director. I said Honda has done a better job over the years. I got this loose so I can get this further off of the rubber is so smushed in that you literally have to open it almost all the way up Sheesh. Damn. I'm glad I'm changing these. Cause, whew, this is a booger. So that's what I'm going to do. Switch over to the screwdriver handle. Let's see if we can get in between here and get this. Or not, uh, change the angle, top down angle. There we go. It is loose. See one side to come off. Just need one side to come off. True. Yep, it is cool. Now, <sighs> so what we want to do? We want to start putting these next to their counterpart as I'm taking them out, so I don't mess up when I put these back together. Which should probably be kind of hard to do. All things considered. However, you don't want to be too sure of yourself. There we go. Ooh, that looks so sexy. Little short ones. Ooh. 
this one. You can kind of, yeah, they kind of, they did a, actually not kind of, they did a damn good job. Just looking at them, how these hoes supposed to go, you, you really can't mess them up unless you're trying to. <laughs> so now that you guys know, that is cooling for sure. So if you were nervous about doing it yourself, you're good. I did it, so you didn't have to. So, I got that. Let's top one off. This is the one that has size 22 on it. And I was telling you guys about it earlier. Disconnected first. So this last one's a pain, kind of basically because of the way they had the um, adjustable nut facing. Probably not even a correct term. I don't even worry about it. We just want to get loose so we can get it off. And honestly, it looks like this will be the side that comes off the easiest compared to the one that's on the actual radiator <clears throat> oh <clears throat> looks like I was wrong on that one Remember, still using number six. The number six has been money. These really old ones, you're going to have to open it all the way up, get it. You have to gaff them. Just so you can get the ring out of the way. So you can kind of twist on the hose and pull on it. So it breaks free. You may be able to finagle a, a screwdriver and a flathead to kind of break the, the seal that's created over the years. There we go. This one I was able to twist. You can twist and you can get to come off. There we go. All right. Yeah. 
You hear it? Now it's coming off. Uh, I think I might give him a new radiator. I don't think this one's going to be worth saving. Honestly. New radiator. Yeah. And a thermostat. Because it looks like some of the, on the endpoints, the little coating that's on there, it's starting to come off, and they might be going through the system. If that's the case, it's not worth saving. So, let me get the top portion off. Now, what I will do is I will mock these up. This is so you guys can see. Just so you guys can see what it looks like with the mocked up. But we won't necessarily tighten them down since we're going to take them back off again. All right, so this is the left side. Now let's go to the top and get these other hoses off. Let's change angles. <clears throat> Do you see what I see? Yes, you do, for the most part. You're probably going to see the best from this part, this portion, this up top view for the longest, because uh, I disconnect these holes here in the bottom. So let's do this. I'll direct her off. So we have this hose. This comes up top. This is actually, yes, so this is the hose that goes into the carburetor to keep the carburetors cool. Well, actually, to help warm them up as well, to keep them at optimal temperature. So when they're cold, it brings up temp, and it keeps them from getting too hot. So we would need, I don't have, I don't have a tool with me. I have both of them at my dad's house. That's hilarious. Oh, we can get the other one off. <laughs> we can get this other one off. Both my little tools are at my dad's house. Working on Project Goldie. Which is possibly the name, so. This is another coolant hose. This one goes in and underneath. I'm sorry, This I think this is the water pump. I think this is the pump, and the thermostat is up here, up top. So, let's, let's do this. Yep. So, the thermostat should be up here. This should be the housing for it, actually. Let me show you guys. If you guys just said it's up top. It should be right here. So, this is a giant hose. I'm going to take this off. You see the impressions is, is made. It's seen better, better days. Now, this is probably going to get interesting. It's not a lot of room to work. Okay, this comes around to the other side. That's not the. So the one I'm trying to get to is actually. The one that connects to the water pump, 
was actually underneath. It's a pain to get to, so we'll have to take the right side off so we can get to it. It's, it's going to have to come out first. Which is going to be that portion right here, and then this portion right here. So this hose should be Should be this one. Yep. This big giant long boy. No diddy. Spiders crawling everywhere. There we go. Ooh, that looks dirty. Come on. So, boom. <laughs> it does come underneath the clutch cable. So, since we already got it loose over here. Use a leverage. Come this side, it's easier to pull from this side now that you got it loose from the top. And I think this is a one piece. This thermostat, I think, is one piece. And yep, like I said, this. You see which one's been stretched out? <laughs> And it'll snap back to it. Let's just pop it up real quick. I always, I always want to see it. So underneath, right? Yeah, underneath, up a little cavern. Oh, Ooh. that's gonna be nasty. That's gonna be nice. Let's put that back in there. So, the one we want to get the bottom, we can't get to, really, because the other hose is in the way. Or is it the other the one I'm trying to get to? So, it looks like there's another cooling hose. Okay, this is the cooling hose that we're trying to get to. This one right here. But where did they put the adjustable screw at? Let's bring you guys over quick. Because I don't think I can see it. So it's facing from... It's facing this way. And my number six does not... 
I I need a I need a super long cord inch extension. It looks like to get all the way over here. I don't think I'm gonna spin it with my hands. Probably not and not tear some up. So yeah, this what this needs to be look at how crusty it is. See the crust on this? Here. Y'all see it? I hope y'all can see it. I'm trying to in post I'll try to make sure y'all can see that. Alright, so it looks like on this video, this is when we come to a standstill. Um as far as these right here. Now this radiator. We do got the one hose that does need. I don't even have pliers over here, guys. That's how crazy it is. Because I've been working on Project Goldie this entire time. Which will be dropping towards the end of this month. So, um, yeah, this is the stopping point. We're going to go order. See if we can find a extra long quarter inch extension. Need to be at least a foot and a half, two feet. And then we should be good to do this. And then I'll probably, I might order another set of pliers. And then we'll see about a new thermostat as well. And we'll go ahead and get the new radiator ordered. Because, uh, yeah, that's just, I think it's just going to circulate gunk into the motor, into the passageways. Create a whole bunch of new problems. We don't want that. You're going to be riding, getting it, and then your motor just overheat and blow. And you're doing the legal speed limit of 80 miles an hour. So, all right, guys. Always remember to ride safe and two down. Till next time.